I'm making some stuffed acorn squash. It's pretty simple, really. My stuffing is going to be carrots, onions, and celery, obviously. I got a little bit of yeah. sweet Italian sausage that I've been I've been shredding off in here. I'm going to put them in through the little, get a little heat on there. So now I'm going to sweat down my carrots, my onions, my celery, a little bit of garlic. Obviously, we're going to season. How are we seasoning? Oh, with authority, oh you're seasoning from above and liberally making it rain. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of sage in here, and I'm going to put a little bit of some walnuts to give it a little bit of uh, some texture. And I'm going to usually I finish this off with a little pecorino romano. Um, today I have Parmesan because I uh, forgot to buy the pecorino romano. But what the heck? Holidays, good times. My stuffing is still going here. I've got my sausage, my carrots, my onions, my celery, a little bit of sage Beautiful. I put in there. Now I've crushed, I've crushed some walnuts uh, to put in there. I even dropped some on the floor. I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of chicken stock and let that cook down. That's a you little know, the traction. great thing about shooting... I, I, I like walnuts on the floor. It's a little traction. That's good. It's 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 perfectly fine. You know, everybody, everybody makes a little bit of a mess every once in a while. So now this is going to cook down a bit. Did I forget anything? Of course I did. A little knob of butter. We never forget a little bit of butter in there. Gives it a little bit of, you know, a little helps bit of bring butter it all gives together. A little something, something. That's right. A little That's something, right. something. Uh, well, let's move over. I'm going to cut. I, I've already cut one in half, but I'm going to show you because obviously we wanted to make this happen a little quicker. But so these acorn squash, beautiful, beautiful guys, yeah. right? I don't know if anybody eats these a lot, but I love squashes. I do. I eat them. Ex especially this time of year. So what I do is I just cut it in half. And I'm gonna scoop out the seeds. And I'll probably save these seeds because I like to take the seeds and obviously dry them out in the oven, put a little seasoning on Toast them. them. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing better. They're so good in a salad or something like that. So what I do now is so because I'm gonna serve them stuffed, I want them to sit straight like this. Right. So what I'm right. gonna do is I'm gonna cut cut a little bit of the back off. Give it some feet. Give it feet. Give it some, give it some feet. I don't want it to I don't want it to fall over. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just a little bit of olive oil in here. Let me make sure I know, you know, I'm also the cameraman, so I know where the angles are now. You know, I know. I got it's you. Really, I got you. Ooh, look I at you say, doing uh, the soul train moves. Nice. So I'm going to take these, season them up, salt and pepper, olive oil, flip them, and I'm going to throw them in an oven at 350 for about a half hour. Okay. So here we go. We got the acorn squash in the oven. We've got our pan getting hot over here to cook our pork chops. So then we're going to season up our pork chops and we're going to sear them in the pan. And we're going to finish those off in the oven as well. And what I do is I'll, I'll use the same pan to cook my uh, to cook my spinach in right before I serve it. So I'm going to sear up my pork chops, get a nice, a nice color on those, throw them into the oven. They'll probably cook. These guys are pretty big. I just got them the other day. Um, these are probably going to take a good beautiful. 10 minutes. After, gorgeous. After gorgeous. I, aren't those nice? I got them down the street, but let me let me just show you. We're gonna stuff one of these acorn squashes now. Uh, okay. Let me grab one out of the oven. Oh. Uh, how we doing? Is everybody okay? I am okay. How are you, man? You take a breath. You're okay. You're okay. You see, what I did was I got here early and I made one in advance. I have what they call I a swap you. out. Thank I you stuffed my acorn. Thank I'm gonna pop that in the oven. Okay, you're gonna finish off that acorn. So that, that, you know, you could actually make this stuffing a little bit in advance if you want, and the acorn, and you could stuff them, have them sitting. Don't put them in the fridge because they'll get too cold all the way through. But if you did it before your dinner party or your lunch or your dinner, room right, temperature out. You it, right, exactly. Leave it covered room temperature for a bit and then just flash it right before you serve. You're fine. And then, and then what you do is you just throw it in. You know, you could probably, I mean, I would say a good 10 minutes in the oven, you'd be fine. You know what I mean? We're going to just saute yeah, a little spinach. spinach. Lovely. Because, you know, we got to eat our greens. Hold on. We're going to just saute this up. We're going to plate this up for you. Look at that. What a beauty. Woo! Look at that.